Okay, so um, this is part three of the video um, data processing in Chromium uh, for GCMS. So um, in the last video, I showed you you know how to label a certain peak, and um, one thing I realized is uh, I had misspelled symmetric. So symmetric is this, this, okay, and. Um, so, uh, did you see that? So, as soon as I clicked outside the window, it automatically updated uh, the correct name. So, um, you can you know label. You can have whatever label you want. Say you know you don't want to see the area. You just want to see the uh, retention time and the name. So, uh, what you would do is uh, uh, go to the properties and in the peak label property in the peak label tab uh, see this label identified peaks uh, you know just to remove this area and uh, and if you do that you should have no area okay there you go so um uh, so, uh, so anything you know, like Chromium in general, you know, it's a good if you are trying to do something. Uh, you know, in uh, it's a good idea to just right click and you know look for whatever options are available. And usually you'll find, uh, I mean, you can do many things in this properties tab. You know, there's so many things you can do. I mean. Um, so, so uh, see in the peak label, uh, if I want to label unidentified peaks, you know, the peaks which are not in the component table, uh, you know, I'll click this, um, and then it will identify it by peak, the retention time, and the library match, uh, the first hit of the library match. So this is very flexible as such, you know. I mean, you can do many things. Um, say, you know, I don't want, I want to add something else. Say. Um, You'd go over here, oops, okay, and uh, say, what do you want to add? Um, say, I want to add the asymmetry of the peak, you know, how Gaussian or non Gaussian the peak is, uh, and you can look at the parameter. So, this is based on the USP criteria, which is okay, and you know, click okay. And it'll show you the asymmetry. So if I close this, and it'll show you the asymmetry of the peak itself. So, so it's 1.26. Anyway, there, like this is just some of the things that you can do. Uh, let me just delete that because I really don't want to see the asymmetry. Um, okay. So, uh, uh, like I said in the previous video, so uh, the you need to add the analytes. Or the compounds of your interest in this MS component table. So, if Symmetrin, for example, is a analyte of interest, you need to add that. Uh, you also need to add the MS quantitation peak. So, um, so anybody or anyone who has done any work in mass spectrometry knows that uh, you know you don't quantitate on the tick. You don't quantitate on the total ion chromatogram, right? So, you always have a quant ion, uh, you know, like a particular peak uh, or a particular mass spectral peak that you quantitate on. For example, uh, 213 over here for symmetrin is the is the largest peak and which is very unique uh, to symmetrin. So you quantitate on that peak. So you would add the MS quantitation peak over here. So that's 213. Uh, point 0.1 you don't need point 0.1 because like I'll explain to you afterwards but you know it uh, generally takes like 213 plus or minus uh, point 0.5 so it will take uh, uh, that so um, you know what let me uh, let me double click on this again you know to show where that is so if I double click okay there it is the so this is the extracted ion so what it does is like 213 uh, what it does is it does is that it extracts 213 
ion uh, from the tick and quantity it's only on that now uh, you can add more quantitation uh, more confirming ions you know to make sure that you know cymetrin is really present so um, let me close this I uh, because I want to show you uh, another thing you know which is helpful and I use it very often uh, when I'm trying to add the quantitation uh, and the confirming peaks is uh, if I right click I, I can go to find in library and you know this will show me the uh, it, like it will show me the mass spectra for that particular uh, peak and the hit spectra right the hit spectra from the NIST library is in this lower blue so generally you know I like to uh, look at it in the NIST library program itself so you can right click and say open spectrum in NIST with NIST so I click on there and it opens up uh, the the same results basically in the NIST program which is like the NIST MS search 2.2 and over here I like to see okay you have 213 uh, you know which belongs to Symmetrin and you have 170 155 so I think I'll use 170 and 155 as two confirming ions so so you go back to your chromidian studio and uh, so I will type it. You can either type it in here 155 or another way. Let me double click it again over here. Is so since I typed in that it already made a, um, like it extracted the 155, but you can also add uh, from here too. So see over here, create new MS confirming peak and. Uh, uh, so the type is mass range and the ion is uh, 170 right okay so if I close this you know it has added 170 so um, that's funny this is 184 right okay so the MS search doesn't have 184 mm, so that must be some co-eluting uh, compound at this time anyway we'll uh, we'll figure that out afterwards so so uh, basically you learned how to uh, make um, uh, extract uh, so how to add the ms uh, quantitation peak and the confirming peaks in this video okay and uh, we'll continue afterwards